So we're at the foot of Dragon Jade Mountain and we've just stopped to take some pictures here because the view is absolutely spectacular. The sun's shining, it's nice and warm. I need the old sunglass on because it's a bit bright. And um, we're about to go up the mountain and uh, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, it's one of the most spectacular mountains here in Lijiang. Nature is just simply amazing. It, it's just mind blown. I've been to places like here, like Four Girls Mountain, like Jujai Go, and now here, this uh, Jade Dragon Mountain, and, and just the amazingness of nature is just mind blowing. It really, really is. We're so lucky to be here on a day where the weather's good because it could be cloudy and foggy and all sorts. Okay, this is the tourist reception center. So this is the first uh, viewing platform, right? Whoa, look at that. God, it's absolutely stunning. Wow. Actually, guys, I might not do this. I don't know whether it flattens out or not. I'll go a bit more. <laughs> you carry on if you want. <laughs> okay. How's it going? How are you feeling? I'm okay. Just. Okay. <sighs> Do you need the <sighs> oxygen? <laughs> no, not yet. Just walking up that slight incline at this altitude becomes difficult because of the lack of oxygen in the air but I'll try hope it flattens off in a minute and I'll, uh, I'll keep going but it's absolutely beautiful forest it's just stunning look at that it's beautiful they've made a wooden walkway that we can use well, it's just beautiful but even like moderate exertion, you get really out of breath because of how thin the oxygen in the air is, you know. I'm like a bit of a decline here, so I'll get my breath back a bit. You see how all these trees have just fell and they've left, they've been here. And look at these, look. These have probably been here for years and years and years. They just fall and they just left. And they just naturally decay. Look, how amazing is that? Look at that. It's just like crazy. Oh, it just decays because everything's left natural. It's beautiful, beautiful. What a beautiful place. Oh, so we're going, we're going downhill a bit now, so I can finally get my breath back a little bit. Oh. Um, Eating a Snickers bar as well because I want to get a bit of sugar. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni Getting a bit of sugar. Ni hao. Hello. There's quite a lot of people here, but it's not crazy busy. I could imagine if you came on a national holiday here, it'd be absolutely packed. Oh, look at the mountain there, man. That is absolutely magnificent. Look at all the snow on the top. It's just. It's kind of the perfect day. I would say it's about 14, 15 degrees. I feel comfortable with this, this coat on and I've got a, a jumper underneath and a hat. And um, we've got a beautiful, beautiful blue sky. You can see the peaks of the mountains covered in snow. And we're walking through this absolutely... Ni hao. Ni hao. Good trip. <laughs> we're walking through this absolutely beautiful beautiful forest it is absolutely stunning i just love 
This reminds me of when I went to um, Four Girls Mountain and I was in the forest there because I just love the way when like things fall, trees fall or rocks fall, they just leave them. You know, they don't, oh, I guess this might be, is this emergency water, do you think? I reckon this is emergency water. Sadly, I can't read what it says. That might be emergency water, I think. If that's emergency water, that is such a good idea because quite recently I was in a Longyen in Fujian province and I went up this mountain and I forgot to take water with me and I was getting really, really desperate. And in the end, I stopped somebody on a electric motorcycle and that kind lady actually took me to some water because I was getting really quite dehydrated. So if that is emergency water and let me know down in the comments if it is. Oh, and if I forgot to mention um, at any point in the video, we are actually in Lijiang and this is, uh, I think it's Jade Dragon Mountain. I think it's called also called Snow Mountain. But it is absolutely beautiful. It really is stunning. This rates as one of the, um, you know, best kind of uh, nature tourist areas I've been to, along with uh, Jujago and Four Girls Mountain. The one I haven't done, which I really need to get sorted, is um, uh, Jajajie. I really want to go to Jajajie. Uh, so I've never been there, so um, I reckon that might be next on the list. But before that, I'm going to Harbin, so um, in the future, look for some uh, videos in Harbin where it gets to serious minus temperatures. It can get as low as minus 40 in Harbin. So um, I've got myself a load of gear to go there, warm clothes, thermal underwear, so I'm really looking forward to that trip. Right, we've arrived at Blue Moon Valley. And Blue Moon Valley is given its name because of the color of the water. It's full of minerals, so it has a very blue color. However, the actual river is called White Water River. And that's because at certain times of the year when it flows faster, it picks up minerals from the bottom of the river bed. And when it flows, it turns into like a milky white color. Hence the name White Water River. By Shui He, which is White Water River. Not only is the water beautiful blue, but you've got that because of the time of the year, it's like a autumn coming into winter. You've got this whole um, trees that are all going sort of brown and, and whatever, absolutely stunning look. It seems to be another one of those areas where we have lots of wedding brides. This lady here is just getting all her hair done, looking very beautiful. And to get all their photos done for the wedding. Oh my god, look at all the gear here of all the photographers. Wow. So much stuff, different outfits, different dresses. Are you the groom? Oh, Ni Han Piao Lian. Ni Zai Zhong Guo Nali. Ni Zai Zhong Guo Nali. Jiangsu. Jiangsu. Ah, Jiangsu. Ah, Jiangsu. Ah, Jiangsu. Jiangsu. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh my god, there's loads here. This must be the. This is obviously the place. Because there's like loads of gear, there's loads of flowers, look. There's lots of flowers, and there's lots of brides, and there's lots of grooms. A lot of these tourist areas, they do a very good job of putting all like the decking in and, and like platforms that you can go to, to um, get photos and, and walk around to see. And often, um, you know, you will get uh, people with little businesses all around these platforms, which is, it's all good for the local economies. And it's all uh, because people like to come here with the advent of social media. People like to come here to do photos for their social media. And uh, 
Yeah, it's, it's a weekday, it's Monday, but it's still quite busy. Oh, so here, look, you can have uh, you can have your picture taken on a yak. Oh my God, it's a real yak. I didn't realize it was a real yak. To come, and then we see here, there's a young lady getting a photo done by the, the water. Ni hao. Hello. Ni hao. So, here in Lijiang, we're staying at the Intercontinental Hotel, and it's a really beautiful hotel. We can see the um, mountain over here in the background, and we're on this beautiful outside terrace. It's a really nice, nice temperature day. It's not too hot, not too cold. But being at the Intercontinental, I've decided I'm going to have treat myself to the afternoon tea. And I've just ordered that. There's lots of nice cakes and things that I really like. But instead of ordering it with tea, I've took it with coffee because I prefer coffee. But um, a friend here is going to join me. And uh, oh, nice. he's going to uh, he's going to have tea and tea, I'm going to have yeah. the coffee and we're going to eat some cakes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, you have a YouTube channel too, right? Yeah. Tell me about it. My name is Phil Tom and I'm currently living in China. I've been here for like probably more than six years because I studied here and now I'm living here. I'm, I do content creation as well because... <laughs> You know, I've got uh, my YouTube channel. I do more of um, life here in China, the real life, you know, because those people are telling you something different. You see yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, They're telling them sure, something yeah. different. So we're telling you the real life of the people walking on the street, talking to the locals, eating local foods with them. Go check out his channel. And he's got some really interesting content on there. But anyway, we're going to enjoy our um, uh, afternoon tea here at the Intercontinental. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, that is looking good. And we got some, we got some British star scones coming here. So I'm gonna get some of the old cream on first, like this, and then a bit of it looks like black currant jam, a bit of black currant jam. And then down the hatch, it's going to go. Mm. How's it? Mm. That is great. That reminds me so much of being back in England. Okay. That's really good. Oh, cream and jam scones. It's like that's a traditional classic British thing. And that was really good. Okay, and now my coffee's arriving. That's absolutely fantastic. Nice, sir. Uh, coffee there to go with the uh, scones and cakes thank you very much what could be better on a Monday afternoon sitting in a place like this having lovely scones and cakes you know this is this is just this is just perfect you know the weather's perfect we've got an amazing view we're eating fantastic food you know what more can I say